In this video, I'm going through S1, Chapter 4, and Section 4.6, and its conditional probabilities in Venn diagrams. Instead of a two-way table, which is what we were looking at in Section 4.5, we are going to be looking at restricting the sample space by looking at specific areas in the Venn diagram. So, for example, A, um, for this example, A and B are two events such that the probability of A is 0.55, the probability of B is 0.4, and the probability of the intersection is 0.15. So that means if there's an intersection, that means there is an overlap. And it says draw a Venn diagram showing the probabilities for events A and B. So I'm going to get my, oh, it's not quite working. There we go. Here's my rectangle. Here's my universal set. Let's see. And do this. And I and I'll do it again. There we are. And I will put A and B. So the intersection is 0 0.15. That means to find the probability of just A is going to be 0 0.55 minus 0 0.15. 0 0.55 minus 0 0.15, which is 0 0.4. And to find the probability of B, it's going to be 0 0.4 minus 0 0.15. Um, and that's going to be 0 0.25. And then I want to find the outside as well. So I'm going to be doing 1 minus 0 0.4 plus 0 0.15 plus 0 0.25 and that's going to give me 0 0.2. So let's put 0 0.2 here. So I've completed part A and I've completed the Venn diagram. Part B says Find A, find the probability of A given that B has happened. So I know that B has happened. So B is a given. And in the sample space, I would find the total of event B and this will be my denominator. And it's exactly the same here. I need to find the total of event B, which is my 0 0.4, and that is the denominator. So what is the probability of A given B? Well, the probability of A is, is basically the intersection. It's that that part of A will happen out of the probability of B. So it's going to be 0 0.15 divided by 0 0.4. So 0 0.15 divided by 0 0.4, which is 3 eighths. So given B, I have B, I'm looking at B, which part of A is also uh, happening if I'm only looking at A, and that's this part. So that's part I. Part two says find the probability of, oh, let's try and take all of this. Oh yeah, yeah. not happening okay we leave it there 
Um, so find the probability of B given the union of A and B. Well, the union of A and B is all of that. So that's our denominator. That's what we're dividing by. So when I say that's the denominator, I mean that's why we're what we're dividing by, what it's out of. I could have written it as 0 0.15 over 0 0.4. Okay, so the probability of the union of A and B is 0 0.4 um, plus 0 0.15 plus 0 0.25 and if I put that into my calculator 0 0.4 plus 0 0.15 plus 0 0.25 it gives me 0 0.8 and again that's my denominator and the probability I want to find the probability of B so find B. Well, you can see that B is 0 0.15 and 0 0.25. 0 0.15 plus 0 0.25, well, we know what that is. Uh, we know that B is 0 0.4. So what we want is 0 0.4 divided by 0 0.8, which is a half. So the probability is a half. And for part three, find the probability of the complement of A given that it's the complement of B. So the complement of B is what we're choosing from. So the complement of B is what we're choosing from, and that is going to be 0 0.4 at 0 0.2, because that's the complement of B. So that's 0 0.6, and that's our denominator. And I want from that, I want the complement of A. I want to find the complement of A. Well, the complement of A is 0 0.2. So I am choosing from the complement of B. So I'm choosing from this section. And from this section, what is the complement of A? It's 0.2. It's not going to be, I know that um, 0 0.25 is also part of the complement of A, but it's not part of the complement of A given the complement of B. Because I've restricted the sample space. I'm only looking, I'm only looking at this section. This is the section that I'm choosing from. And therefore the complement of A from this section given the complement of B is only 0 0.2. So now I have 0 0.2 divided by 0 0.6, which is a third. And that is how to use Venn diagrams to look at um, conditional probabilities. And this is how we restrict the sample space by deciding this is what we're choosing from, and then um, doing our calculations.